Okay, um, welcome to the Learn to Code Academy. My name is Will, and <laughs> this is like take three. Um, what has happened is that I intended for this particular walkthrough of my carousel control, my simple WPF carousel control, to be a live run. But then, due to time limitations, um, me going over time by like just over an hour, I decided to do it uncut, or what should I say, rather, as a cut. Or just to show you guys what I've already written, but not in a live scenario. So uh, then I ran into some issues in terms of my code, the carousel itself sliding properly. But now I think I've I've gotten to the root of the issue. So I decided to just um, show you guys what's going on and give you a run through of my code. Just so I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, bear with me just as I set these ifs to else ifs. And then I'm going to run through, I'm going to show what's going on in the UI. Uh, might have one bug. I'm going to show what's running in the UI. But basically, as I'm doing this, the general idea is to create, for me to kind of create a Netflix-esque carousel control, um, but in WPF, of course, the ter in terms of the actual look and feel, this is far from the Netflix experience, but it's just a very simplified approach. Let's run through the code and then I'll tell you what's going on. So I have here a dispatcher timer called main clock, which has been declared and instantiated at the top. And I'm sending it to run at full speed and then it calls uh, a function called animate. And animate simply at certain steps of time or should I say at certain frames of animation, I shift my carousels left or margin property left by a particular amount. And I, I um, control the speeds at certain frames, frame ranges, ranging from like zero to like 40, then back down um, to, to create an ease in and ease out motion. All this code, I'll, I'll see if I'll make it available on my Bitbucket account as open source and so that you know you can access this code at more length to study it and you can use it or you know utilize it any way you want for your programs i also have a, a bitmap uh, should i say a load images function which actually loads the images themselves i have 10 different image controls on my on one carousel here i have 10 different image controls as you can see and i loop through all 10 but i wrap around seven because stored in my um, computer is actually just seven different images, or rather six, one's a copy, um, but it's still stored as seven bespoke or seven distinct images in memory. So I wrap around X to seven so that I'm loading 10. So I'm loading 10 image con containers with seven different images. And then when I hit the eighth one, it wraps around to the first image again, and then it continues to load. So it goes on so forth. So it's like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, so on and so forth. Here's the code itself. As you can see, I have the, um, what's stored in here? I have, I've created a buffer to hold the title card images. So the bitmap images for the title cards of this kind of album carousel. I've stored in the list as I have done with the image control, so I can very easily just um, access them by index. <coughs> have a couple flags being sent to true, which indicates where I'm scrolling. And that's basically the app. It's less than 300 lines of code. It's not very complicated. So let's go ahead and run this. And hopefully if I've corrected my bugs, then I should see some kind of smoothish animation. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, that's definitely working better than it was before, uh, but it's just that my incrementations are very, very little. So let's go ahead and just change things. Or could it be, could it be that I'm not hitting anything above 0 0.4? Um, else if, um, so basically I'm stepping through, I'm gonna just quickly debug this to see what's going on to make sure that I'm stepping through okay. Left, step through by 0 
animate left equals false. Oh, and here I am. I see what's going on. This is in the wrong place. I'm exiting my my um, functionality prematurely. And then where do I go? Yeah. No, not there. Yeah. Yeah, so I think this is correct. Hopefully, I have just fixed my program. Let's have a little look. And I can explain what's going on. Computer takes a little while to load things. It's, my computer's a little slow. It's upgrade. Yeah. Nothing. Excellent. Yeah, this is just what I wanted. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> uh, let me see what's going on here. Oh, like an absurd number. Okay, it's 45. Less than 45. Less than 30. Let me just restart this. Oh, okay, I've seen one thing I've done wrong. I just want to confirm. That my looping is right. So my next step is one. Should be two now, hopefully. Yeah. So that will keep going. That should keep going. Let's make sure this is right. Animate step should be like 29, I think. Huh. Why has it gone back to 5? If animate step is less than 5, it should probably be less than or equals because then that increments to 6. So if I'm on 4, this will go through five. That won't work. Boy, less than five. No. Yeah, that's correct. And then go to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. As that's incrementing and shifting and shifting. So you go for here. I'll fix my program while I'm here. 50. It's 55. 60. 55. Maybe this is the issue with my program. 50. I'm indexing 50. 55. What's my mission? 60. Ah, okay, so after much deliberation, I have fixed my program. So just some indexing issues, but as you can see, the carousel moves somewhat smoothly. Let's start again. Obviously, I haven't done the um, wraparound functionality yet, which should come in a subsequent video, hopefully. <laughs> um, just to wrap up this UI, make it look a bit nice, because it's a neat little project, which you can, pro which you know, I can probably do in one day. Uh, this didn't. This took just about just under within two hours to do, um, just because I had a lot of bug finding to do and whatnot, and I was commentating for some previous takes. Okay, excellent. So as you can see, if you can observe, I have a bit of an easing motion going in and out, and that's the album carousel. Kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> 
So I might work on this a little bit more to kind of make the UI look a lot more smooth, a lot more robust, kind of like Netflix-esque. Um, still free to uh, feel free rather <laughs> to um, stick around with this series uh, as I'm doing on the channel and um, we're going to be diving a little bit more into some more WPF front end C sharp back end with different videos we have also the coding a video game 2D video game from scratch series so stay tuned for the next episodes for that uh, as for now my name is Williams at the Lunch Code Academy and I hope you have a great day God bless and goodbye